what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a full face of vive so the products that i received in my vive haul from last week i'm going to be using most of those today if not all of those today plus like some things that i already had as well as using the brushes so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so i already did my eyebrows sorry if y'all can hear miss rachel and the twins in the background it is what it is so brows are done so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face using the skin nova and this just gives like a really pretty glow it's like this gold color and it just makes the skin glow by the way this video is not sponsored okay i paid for all these products myself if y'all have been watching the vlogs or even just last week's video y'all know it was a struggle but we got our stuff okay and y'all see it just gives a nice a nice little glow to the skin so while that is sitting on my skin i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes um because it's gonna be pretty simple this is gonna be just like a simple easy like everyday look in my opinion okay so this this would definitely be like my everyday look so okay i'm gonna take the eye wand in the shade coffee and i'm gonna run that all over my lid i'm gonna do it one at a time these don't dry like super fast but i just i like to do them one at a time like just in case i don't like to let them sit so i'm just gonna apply that all over my eye and then to blend that in i'm gonna use her brush this is the 217 large eyeshadow blender and i'm just gonna buff that out and these blend really easy boom same thing on the other side all right so that's on and blended and honestly you could leave it like this which i have been doing like all last week this is all i would throw on my eyes and then just go but today we're gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow um, using her essential palette and i'm just gonna take this same brush in this shade here delicious and i'm just gonna kind of pack this on top of this um base and i'm just throwing it right on top and blending it out and i'm just blowing it all the way out because that's how i like my eyeshadow i like my eyeshadow blown out Okay, and then I'm gonna take this shade here, So Shy, and I'm gonna put this underneath my brows. And just highlight the brow bone. I don't know if people do this anymore, but I do. I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone, and it's gonna kind of blend out some of that brown that kind of got all the way up to the brow. It's gonna help blend it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna take this shade here, Thea. And I usually use these with my finger, but I wanna try them with her brush. This is the 223 Eyeshadow Packer Brush. So I'm gonna take this like shimmery shade here. Ooh, that picked up a lot. I'm just putting this all over my lid. So I think the brush picks them up fine, but I do think that the shimmers in here work better um, with your finger, but it's just like a very soft, like subtle little shimmer. And then I'm just gonna blend real quick. So it's not a harsh line or anything. Okay, now we're gonna go in with liner. This is the Power Ink Liner in Black. And y'all know, I do not wear eyeliner honey like at all, but these are surprisingly very easy to use because it's like a felt tip pen. It's not a brush tip, which is really difficult in my opinion, especially if you're a beginner. So these are real easy to use. And like I said, I don't wear eyeliner like hardly ever. It's very rare that you catch me with eyeliner on, but I've been wearing these. Um, hold on. I cannot talk and do this. So. Okay, so I just did like a little, tiny little wing, okay? I 
a tiny little wing. Um, but yeah, like every day I've been wearing the brown one because this does come in brown. So that's the one I've been wearing most of the time, but the black is nice. Okay, can y'all see why I don't wear eyeliner? Like they look different, completely different. But we're not gonna get ourselves into a dilemma here with you know having to have a big old line because I can't get the eyeliner right. It is what it is. Y'all already know I don't wear liner. This is what it looks like when I do. So yeah. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply her mascara. So I'm using the Modern Mascara. I actually really like this, it's, it's quite nice. Now we're gonna move on to the face. She doesn't have a foundation, um, so I'm going to apply one that I already have. I'm gonna use the Dior Face and Body, which is like my favorite foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this on my face. <clears throat> like that. But I do wanna use her brush to blend it out. So this is the 117 foundation brush. It's super soft too. All her brushes are really soft. Look at that, that just blended real quick, real quick. Now, let's apply cream bronzer. This is the Modern Radiance Cream Bronzer in the shade Deep. Um, I think Jamie applies her cream bronzer with that foundation brush. But I don't want to do that since I just applied a foundation with it. I'm probably going to have to order another one of those. So I'm just going to take this Morphe brush and apply it this way. I'm going to go ahead and apply a cream blush next. This is the Sunset Blush Balm in the shade Piazza. And I'm just going to like do a little, a little dot on my hand. Just a small little dot. And then I'm going to apply this with my finger. So I'm just going to kind of blend it out here and then apply it with my finger. I feel like this is really good for like no makeup days, like real no makeup days. Like maybe you're going to the beach or something and you just have on like moisturizer. You just pop this on your cheeks and across your nose and be good to go. I'm gonna put some on my nose. On my nose. And yeah, I'm just blending that in with my hand and y'all see how it blends it just melts okay whoa now i'm gonna go in with her concealer this looks like this this is thick like this is a thick this is thick okay this is a thick concealer if you do not like thick concealer you're not gonna like this and i typically don't wear thick concealers because any makeup that is thick I feel like I can feel it on my face and I don't like to feel my makeup on my face, but this is actually not that bad, but it is, is thick, okay? Like, I don't know if y'all can tell like how thick this is. Can y'all see that? I don't know, but it's thick, honey, okay? So I'm just gonna apply some of that under my eyes. Yeah, it's thick. Right here to clean up this eyeshadow just a little bit. Kind of around the nose. Just in all the places that I normally apply concealer. So I'm gonna take her concealer brush. This is the 119 Conceal and Prime, and it's like a flat topped angled brush and i'm just gonna blend out all this concealer
concealer is blended i know it looks a little cray right now because it's a little harsh right here but we're gonna fix that in a second um but yeah i like this concealer while it is thick it doesn't i can't feel it you know what i mean like i can't feel it on my face and i feel like it just snatches me up under my eyes and i love that so to set this instead of using a loose powder she doesn't have a loose powder i'm going to use her press powder this is the powder that came shattered and i tried to fix in the vlog last week um and i mean it seems to be working fine so we're gonna we're gonna use it and i'm just gonna use it with a puff she does have this brush which i will actually probably use to set the rest of my face but i prefer using this powder with a puff so i'm just gonna press it into the powder so it looks like this and i'm just gonna set my under eye with this and i don't usually set with a press powder but i really like how this looks like look at that look at that it looks so nice Okay, so I'm just pressing that right up under my eyes with a little buff. Boom, it just looks so nice and smooth. And then I'll use this brush just to show y'all. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this, with the same powder, just with this brush. You know, just for a light, kind of a light set. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna go in with her bronzer. This is the modern bronzer like duo. So it looks like this. She's got a big bronzer brush. Um, this is the 127 powder and bronzer. So you could use this for all over powder as well, but I'm using this to bronze today. I like really big brushes to bronze up my face. Okay, so let's see, we starting to look a little snatchy snatch. We starting to look a little snatched, honey, okay? And we love it. And for powder blush, I'm gonna use this um, Dimension Face Palette. This is limited edition, and I believe it's called Twilight. Yeah, Twilight. Um, and I'm gonna take her blush and bronze um, brush. So you can always, you can use this one for bronzer too. I think this one would be good for a cream bronzer and then the big one for the powder bronzer. But I'm going to use this for blush and I'm just going to take these two shades here. What are they doing? These two shades on the bottom and mix them and use those for my blush. Okay, now we're going to go in with highlighter and I'm using the new Nova Glow Liquid Light Highlighter. So this is a liquid highlighter that looks like this and I'm just going to put it on my face I'm gonna do my nose first and I'm gonna use her brush this is the 125 highlight brush so just blend that out okay and then we're gonna do a little bit on the cheek I do like one area at a time because with um sometimes with highlighters like this they dry and then you end up with like a streak if you just leave it there. So I just like to do one area, one area at a time. I hope y'all can hear me, but they're in there playing. So, oh, somebody about to get mad. And this is in the shade Riches, which I think is the darkest highlight. And it's like the, like super golden. Um, and I do think that this color is a little bit too gold for my skin I, I like something lighter typically but it doesn't look bad you know i feel like i need some more Bing. and then just to add you know a little more zing and a little bit of a lighter color so like i said i feel like that is, to me it's just a little bit too gold i'm gonna take the highlighter from that um face palette and just kind of go like a little on top 
because I just like a lighter highlight. Like, I don't like for my highlight to be too gold. That's a lot of highlight on the nose, though, honey. That's a lot of highlighter. But, listen, I still like highlight, okay? I know that people don't like to wear highlighter anymore, but I do. I surely do. There's a mosquito in here. So, that's the face. Um, what I'm going to do is finish off the eyes and then we'll move on to lips. So for eyes, I'm going to take that same eye wand that we used earlier and I'm just going to run it under my eyes. Like that. And then she has a smaller blending brush. This is the 221 eyeshadow smudger. And I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lash line. Boom. And you can use these to line, like, as liners. You can use them to line your waterline. You can create a wing, like, rub some off on a brush and create, like, a wing liner or whatever. So, these are pretty versatile, but they just make eyeshadow so easy. Okay. Now, I feel like the eyes are really really complete when you have it on the lower lash line and then i'm gonna add mascara to my lower lash line all right and then to like really finish off the eyes i'm gonna take that same highlighter from that palette and put it on my inner corner yeah i'm gonna go ahead and set my face real quick she doesn't have a setting spray, so I'm using the one size. Okay, now for the lips, I'm going to take her Modern Lip Definer in the shade Bark and line my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use this, um, what are these called? The Modern Lipstick? Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Coming In Hot. And then just to go on top and finish off because I'm a glossy girl, we're going to use the Lip Dew in the shade Rosa. All right, guys, so this is the finished makeup look using all V products, well, mostly V products. Um, and yeah, I love it. I'm obsessed with Vive, like I've said before, but this video is not sponsored. I just actually really love her stuff. It just seems like it's getting a little bit more difficult to get it in the U.S. So I hope that we can get that fixed because I love her stuff and I want to be able to continue to order her products because they're really, really good. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried anything from her, what your favorite products are, or if you haven't tried anything, what would you consider trying from her line? Okay, so yeah, this is the finished look. And I will see you guys in the next video.